Hello everyone and welcome back to War Thunder. Today we're gonna review M1128, aka Striker. Before they released the Striker in-game, I thought this would have been a really compact small vehicle. But as soon as I went to battle, by looking at the teammates next to me, I realized I was the size of a mouse. Suddenly my teammates turned into the toy tanks. And the reason of it, Striker's original hull is used for infantry transportation. So it's not designed for the armor combat. They put everything on this hull, from machine gun to the cannon, to the grenade launcher. And you might think, oh, this is awesome. It must be really fast. And no. Even though we have impressive 121 kilometers per hour top speed, we only have 350 horsepower. And unfortunately, you're not driving this thing on Route 66. You're driving it in a really bad shaped terrain. So reaching that speed might only be possible in arcade matches. But in realistic, I never reach that top speed. And what's even worse, we're too high. Plus with this bad vertical guidance, playing from the third is nearly impossible. Minus five. Not even talking about the bad third placement, which makes it really uncomfortable playing in uh, urban maps. It cannot turn on its place like tank does. Not comfy to play in bad terrain and small maps. Uh, however, we have a good, not blurry thermal vision and best penetration for its cannon, awesome gun lifting speed and turret rotation. But it comes with the 10 seconds of reloading time and you cannot change it because it's an auto loader and that's another bad thing. It doesn't have a scouting capability even though Radkenfagen, Ruiket, Type 16, Centauros, VFM5, all of these vehicles have scouting capability. That means you can't reduce the spawn point cost of the plane. Because usually why players are spawning with these combat cars at the beginning of the match, they want to scout, uh, kill one or two tanks and spawn with the plane. But now spawning with this at the beginning of the match, it's quite pointless. After the hull break update, I started to survive more shots. Even though a shot will pierce right through the hole, there were some moments that I actually survived and it was quite satisfying. And after getting wrecked with the close combat tactics, I decided to camp a bit from the far distance and that's when I actually started to be more effective, getting more kills, because there's nothing to do more. Playing with striker is extremely challenging. You need to survive from artillery, you need to hide from planes, helicopters, you need to struggle with this bad vertical guidance, bad maneuverability, hiding this uh, mouse size of a paper tank, it's really hard. And since we have a good panning shell, clear thermal vision, laser designator, the only option that is left is camping from extreme distances. Like even if you drop it to 8.0, it will still suffer, because literally every kinetic round can pan us, all of this extra spaced armor around it, it's only sometimes effective against heat FS. If you want to research it, you also need to suffer with the Doom Turtle a lot. But otherwise, I'm not recommending this tank at all. So as final conclusion, I'm sending the striker to the trash can, where it belongs. But yeah guys, that's it for today. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out.